six, nine, as you guys can see this is clipper fluid running on the k1 max first time ever so we are going to try to home all as you guys can see it's working and all the parameters temperatures are also on par everything is working as it should be and here is your console and everything so yes this was a success hello there guys today we're going to install a custom firmware which is pre-rooted on the k1 max and after that you will have like just like your k1 a fully blown fluid on your k1 max we're going to install the custom firmware on this machine so stay tuned this video is sponsored by pcbway.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So guys, first thing we have to do is go to this website here where I shared the uh, pre-rooted custom firmware. You just download it from here. So it will remind you that there might be a virus, but don't worry guys, I put this upload myself so you can clearly download without any hesitation. So download anyways, you download the file first and now you open up the map where it is in. Here I found it. So make sure you have downloaded this file. It is around 123 uh, megabytes so or here you can see 120 megabytes doesn't matter uh, as long as you download from the link that i shared you right click it you say copy to and then you choose your usb drive i don't have one installed now but if you plug one in you will have a usb drive here so you copy it on there once you copy your file make sure your usb drive is formatted into fat 32 extension and once it's copied on there you have to eject your drive and then we can move to the printer side of the installation put the usb with the custom firmware on the k1 max turn on the k1 max now wait until you get the pop-up of the usb there we go just press upgrade you have to wait until the upgrade is done now the machine restarts and you will get this pop-up again so this time you choose no because we already installed it and you pop out the USB drive after you install the custom firmware you see you can go to the fluid home screen here and just to check if we have root access we can open putty just like that open we just accept so login as root and then password is creality as you guys can see root access is enabled and we are inside of it and if you want to be sure of it that it is really like working we can just also go into the file system through WinSCP so root as login and password is creality login double click as you can guys can see it's also inside of the file system directories here is all the files that you might want to change something i don't suggest if you change anything if you don't know what you're doing so this is about it so next thing we have to do in order to be able to print because there is something that has to be changed that is go to configure and then change g code uh, underscore macro dot cfg file here you have to scroll down until you find start g code start print so just 
go down here it is gcode underscore macro start print so this is what it is going to say but also there is going to be a uh, this line here so you add these all of these like parameters in there so I will put this in the link uh, description below so you can also just copy and paste it so you put it in here and then you press a uh, save and restart and then you just wait until your fluid restarts, your uh, moon raker and your fluid. Let's go to the dashboard again. As you guys can see, everything's working well. So let's do a test print. So here I'm going to cho choose the Benchy here. Click on here and say print. So what's going to happen? You can see here what the console is telling you to what's happening. So it's homing itself and then it's supposed to just start the print so as you guys can see all the macros are here so for the rest you don't change anything on the system and this is your fully blown fluid clipper working as you guys can see and this uh, custom firmware was fairly easy to use fairly easy to install I used it on a point 39 firmware on the K1 Max not sure if it's going to work on the point 40 firmware it's not being tested but it should work it should work but if it's not being tested as of yet if you guys see this video a little later there is also going to be an updated custom firmware where you don't have to copy this uh, macro g codes inside of your macro cfg file so it will be pre set up for you but as of yet we don't have it yet and you guys can see it's just, you know, homing and doing its preparation to start to print. And also something else, guys. So if you go to system or settings, more likely, and choose camera, this was the default one. So I'm going to delete this one. Uh, I added up a new camera. Just adding it up is enough. You just press here. You just give it a name and then it will adapt all the camera URL. Everything will be pre set up there. You just say add and make sure it's uh, turned on and then your camera will work because it wasn't working the first instance I uh, installed it so this is how you turn it on on a clipper but if you're a clipper user you know already how to make this if you don't know how to use a fluid I suggest you stay on the original firmware this is about it for the installation of this custom firmware on the Creality K1 Max we received it yesterday we tried this custom firmware also yesterday and we worked on with the help of our special friends who made it possible for this um, custom firmware to work on this k1 max and to be honest guys i like k1 max much better than the k1 uh, because it is more expensive printer it has a bigger build plate it has a lidar scanner in there so and it has also an ethernet port on there as well so uh, it is more expensive but it also is more rigid in my experience quieter so yes if you have the money maybe you should just go for the k1 max instead of the k1 because uh, my experience maybe it's just me it wasn't that great with the k1 original just uh, the it didn't feel like high quality there are some things that was lacking maybe it was because uh, it was the first batch or something I don't know but I had a lot of problems with that I know this is fairly new and uh, this might also well it will probably uh, cause some issues cause some problems but that's what you get with a 3d printer uh, there is a maintenance involved in there if you don't do the maintenance you won't be able to print for a long time so having to said that i am giving thumbs up for this printer for now this is a really nice printer and just the experience of the first print and everything was great as you guys can see it just picked up the filament and it's printing so quality wise it will be the same if you're on the original firmware or the custom firmware it will be the same but once once you're on the custom firmware you cannot just update it and also turn off the automatic updates in your on your printer so that it doesn't look for new uh, firmware and install it maybe without even asking you so turn that off and people keep on saying that Creality has announced the official way of unlocking fully unlocking the k1 series k1 max k1 mm, 
I don't understand what I mean with fully unlocking. Does it mean, is it going to be like this, like fluid, mainsail, whatever is going to be available out of the box? Anyways, guys, I'm going to not talk your ears off. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!